Maria Maria oh, yeah. <laughs> Bonjour Oh, euh, bonsoir Or hello uh, That works as well uh, I'm Lupe And this is Kirby's Dream And it's a game that I think we all love And Love I can't find my words Bonjour <laughs> So as you might have noticed I'm French uh, And I will be struggling to find my words at some point uh, and I will be most likely panicking in French, uh, but that's the whole charm of the run. Uh, the good thing is I'm not alone to make this. So with me on commentary, I have two dear, dear friends of mine. Uh, I have first a absolutely amazing runner of the game. Uh, I have Blake Faye. Bonjour. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> and on the other side, I don't know, here or there, maybe uh, you have the names. Uh, I have a absolutely lovely, fantastic friend of mine, my Avon partner in crime. I have Skelet. Bonjour. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, thank you, thank you. As, as, I will do my best as the, as the token American on this couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. Uh, first thing, uh, thank you so much for all the donations. Uh, we so we set the lovely by Pride palette, and I'm just so happy because it looks gorgeous. Uh, you will see through the run, uh, and I'm pretty much ready to go whenever you are. Okay, maybe we should do a countdown. Yep, I let you. Uh, Calm down the whole thing for me uh, while I start panicking, and we will make it work. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so let's calm down then. Three, two, one, let's go! Alright, c'est parti! Alright, so this is Kirby. Uh, it's very cute. <laughs> and it's uh, the first uh, the first game of all the Kirby's. So basically it is on Game Boy. <laughs> and Kirby doesn't have any powers yet. So he, he can only swallow and basically throw enemies uh, to deal damage. Yep. And here we are at our first mini boss. Uh, he's very easy. We just have Me. to swallow the bombs and then release it onto him. Okay, and it he takes three hits to die. So okay. here we go. That wasn't my best thought, to be fairly honest. Oh, don't worry. You're doing great. Yes. Oh, merci. <laughs> <laughs> So this is this will be really straightforward. So basically, it's really a platforming game, and Kirby can also fly, as you will be able to see on this screen. And we will try to kind of optimize its movement. So try to begin flying when he's at the top height of his jump. And while I'm talking, we're already at the first boss. Yes, where's the boss? He's oh, very nice. scary. <laughs> But we just have to throw apples on him, and all the buses of this run, or almost all the buses, are RNG. And so he has two patterns, he can either uh, make apples fall down or release some air, and we want apples, and boom, <laughs> that's already the end of the first <laughs> chapter, and that was super fast! Let's go! Let's we, go. we had pretty decent RNG on this one. <laughs> yeah, that was a very decent RNG. Oh, so we're ready I to begin really. chapter 2. Which is Castle Lululu, I think? Yep. And it's a very scary castle with all the bats and uh, witches and masks. <laughs> and you have kind of a very yeah, tight jump at the beginning of this room. Yep. You have to like keep thinking about it and know that it's gonna come because uh, right when the, the screen starts, you have to jump. Really easy to yep. miss. Yeah, but well, it's not such a big deal. <laughs> Definitely. So the minibus of this castle is this really little cute creature and it's right here and by a little creature <laughs> it's already <laughs> over. So we just had to throw three boxes on him. But don't worry, we'll see it later. Oh. Alright, yeah. so... This So you exactly. basically lose half your HP bar and you cannot really afford it. 
So we're at the very, uh, yeah, the very real boss of this chapter. So it's Lululu and La La La, the two little creatures. And basically, we just have to throw boxes on them. And it's kind of hard to do. Me. So what Rupa was trying to do was a double hit, basically. So during um, like one phase, you can hit both of them, but it's really precise. So don't worry. We managed to do this. Yep. All good. Congratulations, that was the second level. Fabulous. Thank you. And, and now the real game starts. So yeah, Rupa is saying that the real game is starting because, well, the real game is starting. Um, this level is really hard compared to uh, the, the first two ones. Yep. Uh, there are much more enemies, the platforming is a bit more difficult, you have to fly over your problems sometimes <laughs> to try to avoid all the enemies and yeah. some little platforming many not manipulation but more of a um, optimization yeah. and we're also trying to avoid the lag because the game boy is, is a kind of very what old console so if you print more than a certain number of um of assets on on screen the game will start to lag so we'll try to optimize that as well and very yeah, very and good players can play kirby's dreamland without having one inch of a lag they're very strong yeah we saw runs like that with blake at some point we were checking the like the top runners runs and we were like wow we're definitely not playing the same game <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, we're pursuing our little uh, voyage. We're on a ship <laughs> and we will be ready to go on our next destination using this very star. I wonder what it is. It's is a rock it star. Is it a whale? Is it, is it yeah. whale time? Yes. yes. It's whale time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't. We got faked out. I was promised a whale. This is not a whale. This is the sky. <laughs> Unless there's a windfish. Is there a windfish? Oh, yeah, I have yeah. no idea, to be very honest. But we are in the stars, and now we are fighting our third boss. This is kind of a, a, a shmup sequence, kind of? And yes. the yes. shmup is already over. <laughs> yeah. It was really I, I straightforward. I got a bit afraid, because I had just one HP left, so... But it went fairly well. I'm fine with that. Yep. And here we are on Bubbly Clouds, it's chapter 4, and the, the worst one, I think we can say that it is the worst oh, one. Oh, by very far. And it is very difficult, it's really easy to... Mysteriously. Yeah, oh. just like this. <laughs> it's really easy to get hit by the enemies. <laughs> and <laughs> your health is only 6 HP, so you've got to be really careful. And this screen is really satisfying because you can just keep running to the right side without stopping. So, a really satisfying yeah. part right here. Seriously? Okay, she Blooper only has one HP. She's trying oh, to no. fly over all the problems. You can do it. Yeah, yeah we just believe. Take it slow. She's almost at the the end of the screen. Me. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh no. okay, okay. This, this is on purpose. This one is on purpose. It's just to be like full health. Okay. Yeah, this one is an intentional death, so Me. our HP Fly bar you. is filled again. So, worst Fly screen you. of the game. Uh, by far the very Me. worst screen of by the worst far. chapter. So, yeah. we need some strength <laughs> yeah. to keep moving forward. Okay, so so far, so good. I'm not complaining. Yeah, okay, and it nice. went quite well. It went quite well. And this is the oh. easiest minibus in the history of minibuses ever, uh, because you just have to run towards the bottom left-hand corner of the screen and you are safe from all attacks. And it's not yep. RNG, the patterns are always the same, which is pretty rare in Kirby's Dreamland. I think that actually is the only one. Might be, yeah. Alright, so we take another star, not towards a whale this time, but towards space. Uh, I, I think it's space. Oh, and you did it's and she did it. space. Oh, cool! You got the, the clip to the back. Yeah. yeah, this is a very weird visual glitch. Like, you can just yeah. go at the, at the background. <laughs> So yeah, very, like, very it, far away. It has away. no impact on the game itself. It's just like 
swipe points. So yeah, I'm cool just visual happy effect. I managed to make, yeah, just happy I managed to show that. <laughs> it is super cool. Yep. Kind of tricky to get. Yep. And so this part, you just have to... You, you ate a very strong curry, very spicy one, so you can throw flames. And Blooper just and had to, like, uh, break the blocks. Okay. Yeah, he destroyed bricks, basically. And everyone and say hello Krakow. to Krakow! Krakow, Hi, Krakow. What's up, Krakow? He's the worst boss uh, in this game. <laughs> he's... Uh, yeah. He's... His pattern attacks are uh, really random, so he can either throw a little weather D just right here, for example. Uh, it can also like shoot some beams and do some other stuff, and we want him to like throw weather Ds so we can attack him. Yep, because else it's just pure team loss and yes. it's annoying. Please. And this was not a good pattern either. The beginning <laughs> no, was no, really no. great in terms of RNG, but yeah, the ending is it's not terrible. really good. It's a really hard so, game to grind. If you really want to have a good yeah. time, you have to grind the RNG and it's really draining. Yeah, that's the whole thing with Kirby's Dreamland. Basically, it's a lovely and great introduction to speedrunning. If you want to start with a nice and chill and easy game, that could definitely be the one. But the RNG is terrible. Yeah, <laughs> this is very <laughs> frustrating. Yep. And congrats on finishing the first stage, by the way. Merci. Big GG's, we can now begin our favorite boss rush. So we'll yeah. go through all four levels that we saw, like mini versions of the four levels that we went through, and we will have to fight the bosses all over again. Yep. So here are Lululu and La 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 once again, so we will try to do the double hits. Maybe Hopefully, if the RNG if we, gods are with us. If we have a nice setup. Uh, this one's not very good. We have to wait no. for them to spawn one above another. But right now we only have one left, so this will not be possible, right. unfortunately. But still, it was a very great execution on this boss. Yeah, it was fine. Is there any um, order, like like preferred order to the bosses, or do you just kind of do whatever, whoever's closest? Uh, like the first one is always this one because it's the closest, and then I don't really know, to be fairly honest. It's just my usual order. Oh, that's um, fair. I'm not sure if it's because after after the first stage you always spawn at the same same place. So I think apart from the first one, the rest is just whatever you want to do. Yeah, we try to beat Krako like as as early as we can because it's really RNG, so oh, it means gotcha. a potential reset yeah, as well. It's like basically Krako is the the run killer. If you're looking for grinding a PB, you definitely want to beat Krako as fast as you can. Yeah, he's a run killer and you have to beat him twice. <laughs> so yeah. it's really bad. Exactly. So um, we'll have our uh, little shmup section coming up once again. So getting yep. a little detour at the beach first. This jump right here to get over the, the spiky ball is really, I don't know, tense, kind of? Because I, I, you know that you are at the end of the run and if you touch it, it's uh, like you you start back at the beginning of the level. It's terrible. Yeah, because the, the difference with the the previous spiky balls is that this this time the spiky balls like locking uh, the bosses. If you touch them, they instant kill you. So this... The the little jump that I just did before is actually like the oddest jump of the, the whole game. Yeah, and it comes In at opinion. the very end, so when you potentially really? have shaky hands and everything. <laughs> uh, exactly. Uh, just to add, can, if I could just very quickly answer a question, chat. Uh, yeah, we're using a uh, custom designed uh, a palette for this run. Uh, yep. I have done a lot of uh, work for the other, like different, like custom Game Boy palettes. So and I had a whole collection of Pride ones. So I offered uh, to help Loop uh, with uh, making them Kirby compatible. <laughs> it's yeah, a fun, and it's a fun thing to do. Lovely. But that's it's it's DDD time. 
Yeah, Maybe. our final boss. So, so time will come up right at the end of this fight when uh, DDD will have zero HP left. And yep. this fight is hard. <laughs> really, really hard. So he has RNG pattern. Now you're used to that. And we want him to either um, have the hammer uh, pattern. Uh, this one, for example, it's very good. Or the ah. jumping pattern. Okay. Everything else is something we want to avoid as much as we can. Uh, even if we don't have any power on it, because it's RNG. But so far, yeah. so okay-ish, I'd say. <laughs> like, it, it's not the worst DDD I've ever had. Yeah, this so one is pretty I'm okay. I'm not complaining. And time is will be coming up when uh, we will beat him. If, he, if he's willing to spare some stars for us. Come on, okay. DDD. Just yes. one more. Okay, we're good. And time. <gasps> GG! Yo, GG! Congrats. GG! Merci! That was a very good <laughs> round. It was really decent. Like, I was so stressed and it's actually fair-ish. Like, it's more than fair-ish. It's totally fair. <laughs> yeah, it was really good and RNG was really easy on you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not so terrible. Like, the, the RNG was really okay. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh my goodness, you you zoomed through that blooper. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you. Uh, I do have a donation here that wanted to cheer you on. Uh, if if you, you can spare me a little time to read it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, All yeah. right, here's $20 from Senen, who says, Let's go, Blupa! It's always nice to watch you run a Kirby game. Your love of the little pink guy is so endearing. Good luck on the run. I have no doubt you'll be as fast as you're fabulous. Aww. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. How, how do the kids do the the art with the, the, uh, the ends? I think like that. Well, all like that. I don't know. Love you. Thank you, Senan. <laughs> <laughs> and if other people uh, think you're fabulous, I mean, where can they find you? Because uh, you zoom through that. I'd love to see you do more of this. <laughs> well, uh, so I have a Twitch channel, uh, but I I'm going to be fairly honest. I, I barely stream there. Um, like, I created a uh, woman and non-binary dedicated committee, uh, like, for French runners and French-speaking runners, uh, which is called uh, Fast and Fabulous, uh, like my t-shirt says. Uh, we have a Twitch channel, and you will most likely actually find me there. <laughs> or on RGL TV, uh, because that's pretty much where I stream. I'm not much of a uh, on-my-own-channel streamer. Uh, but uh, you can most likely find me there if you if you want, uh, and voila, and, um, and voila. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm shy. <laughs> you, you know, I think your run speaks for itself, Blupa. Thank you again, once again, so much, uh, and and also to uh, Blake Fay and Scala Kitty for joining you on this because this this was so much fun. I I said. I said to you in a DM before this run, uh, this is one of my childhood games, and you just zoomed past it. Thank you for making <laughs> child Zoku feel very happy. <laughs> Th thank you so much for having me on, on this event. I, I know that I'm not like a top runner. I know that I don't have the most polished uh, gameplay and stuff, but I just love this game so much. It means the word to, to be able to, to show it like to everyone. Uh, it means even more the word that I could share that with my lovely and dearest friends, uh, Blake and Scala. So thank you Aww. so much for joining Aww. me. Uh, and uh, and yeah, voila. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, chat, we've got more cuteness coming up. So please, uh, once again, a hearty thank you to Blupa. Uh, but chat, oh Sorry. my goodness. You are going to love what we've got coming up because that go go hamster chef run that I have been telling you about, we've met our incentive. We've reached two thousand dollars. You did it, chat. You were amazing. You zoomed right through that incentive as fast as Blooper did through the run. And oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you, chat. Because now with that, we've raised thirteen thousand dollars today for Malala Fund.
And of course, that means we're just $9,000 away from that fear bonus run at the end of the night. Uh, but you know what? We couldn't have done it without donations from you all. Donations like this $100 donation from Durek, who says, definitely want to see more cute hamster. Oh, Durek, you are in luck. Your wish. Well, sorry, let me, let me say that correctly. As you wish. Uh, we've got more fantastic donations, of course. $350 from Fierce Wolf. $350. Thank you so much for your generosity. Uh, and they say, what do I like more than watching speedruns and donating to charity? Getting to do both on my birthday. Here's 10 bucks per year. Putting this towards the bonus percent and any, sorry, the bonus any percent hamster chef run. Chef. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited for this bonus run. I'm stumbling over my words here. But happy birthday, Fierce Wolf. Thank you for being so generous on your birthday and giving us all a gift. And I hope your birthday is as fantastic as this event has been so far. <laughs> uh, we've got some love coming in for that Kirby run we just saw. Uh, $25 from Elegant Fugue. Kirby is shaped like a friend. Unless he's eaten another friend. Then he shaped like two friends. Now that really makes you think. Of course, we had <laughs> we had some fantastic friends on commentary with that, and so I feel like that's amazingly appropriate. <laughs> and Luxor sends in fifty dollars to say, "Boyo, boyo, 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 boyo." <laughs> and I completely agree. And chat, of course, uh, I, I did mention actually that our Go Go Hamster Chef bonus any percent, percent run is actually the start of our horror block for today. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? We're, we're hitting horror already. Um, but before that, we do have uh, some wonderful content for you. We've gotten the chance to speak with one of the horror block runners. Uh, Ruby Hart will be interviewing Il Ab uh, I am so sorry. Wow, I'm, I'm so excited for this. Again, it's just stumbling all over my words. Uh, but Ruby Hart will be interviewing the runner of Illbleed, Abby's Corner. And once again, we do have a category bit war open for that. So, you know, as you watch this interview, maybe take a think. What would you like to see? Friends have a happy end? Or maybe a bad end for this journey through the horror theme park. Take it away. And, oh, before I forget, my bad. I'm so sorry, Chad. I'm just so excited today. Thank you all so much for, <laughs> for dealing with me. Because, because this is actually the end of my time with you on the host mic today. I will be in chat all excited and bouncing along with all of you. So please join me in chat. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. When we come back from the interview, we are going to have the fantastic Big Scared up on host deck. And let me tell you, there's no one better for a horror run. We'll see you on the other side. I met some of the girls who were dreaming to be engineer or architect to rebuild their countries. But parents do not imagine their girls being in a man's world and so they do not encourage them to do so. When it comes to refugee girls, uh, the issues that they face vary depending on which country is hosting them but mostly uh, it is lack of financing to girls education uh, and, and especially secondary education so in lebanon our work is focused on uh, using technology our champions are developing uh, tools and devices and, and they're using technology so refugee children and especially girls can complete their education my name is Naila Fahed. I am the co-founder of LAL, Lebanese Alternative Learning NGO. The main goal of uh, Lebanese Alternative Learning NGO is to help vulnerable children keep up with school by providing digital support program and access solutions. Today, technology is a necessity in education. It's no more a luxury. 
Unfortunately, it is still uh, widening the gap between privileged students going to privileged school and underprivileged students that do not get access to innovation, to technology. We at LAL, we strongly believe that technology uh, should be an equalizing force when it comes to education. Digital education should be free and should be accessible to all. And when we went to the field, we discovered that a lot of schools in remote areas have computer rooms, but they are not using it because they do not have internet or adapted program. So the tech team, to solve the unreliability of the internet connection in remote area, came up with this idea of uh, what we call Tabshura in a box. The box is based on a Raspberry Pi technology, so it's a small computer, it's uh, used as a tiny server. We put all our content on this small micro SD card. We upload the content on this micro SD card. We put the card in the box. And now the box is a library of all our content that will uh, hotspot wireless up to 30 computers and work offline. Children get very motivated when you come with a digital program. We take them to understand better how they can use a computer like a real course, especially for those who are afraid to ask the teacher, I didn't understand, can you explain again? The girls from the centers who were invited to meet with Tim Cook and Malala, they were so emotional. It was amazing to see. I think it is very important in the humanitarian world to collaborate. And I'm very happy that Malala Fund is supporting a collaborative project because it is enhancing the idea that humanitarian NGO should collaborate, should work together and not uh, separate it one from the other. My hope for the future as an NGO is really to get our Tabshura program as a reference in education and benefiting more and more people in Lebanon. And the co-creation box can very easily go outside uh, Lebanon. And my bigger hope for uh, uh, girls' education is that Malala Fund enhance the ambition of girls to fight for their education. Hi, Fatals. How's it going? My name is Ruby Hart, and I am here with...